So, so when you when you're not doing all this security stuff, when you're not doing all this Docker container stuff, what do you do in your free time? <laughs> you seem to watch a lot of movies and there's a lot oh, of. Oh yeah, things. I'm uh, binging uh, uh, <laughs> TV shows with my wife and. Uh, what are you watching these days? So um, we started watching like BBC uh, movies, um, uh, and then we've seen uh, this. Um, there's this TV show called The Bridge. Okay. It's actually half uh, from Denmark, half from Swedish, okay. and it's about a body that was found exactly on a bridge that between the two countries, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, okay. <laughs> got have, a very have, high score on IMDb. Have you seen uh, Black Mirror? I'm sure you have already seen no, it. No, I'm not seeing Black Mirror, because it's so depressing. I mean, there's so many bad things in life. It's about technology, life. you know, and it's all about, you know, where we actually, we are building those technologies. It's true, but it's so depressing. How could you sleep after that? I've seen this episode with this uh, prime, British Prime Minister and the pig and I couldn't yeah. sleep after that. No. That was horrible. I had the best sleep after that. <laughs> really? How could you do <laughs> I, that? I, I, whenever I travel to these events because mostly it's like eight or six hour flight so I binge watch all the <laughs> episodes so I finished Black Mirror. Before that I was watching uh, of course Mr. Robot was also a good one uh, but uh, uh, so you are you have you are watching Bridge. What else do you do in the free time? If you have any uh, free time, I don't. I <laughs> just because I have two kids. You're the CEO, right? <laughs> so how? Okay. So you have two uh, kids. I, I'm playing computer games actually. What I are played, you playing uh, this day? So I played The Witcher 3, which I thought was really cool. Okay. Um, now there's uh, Pillars of Destiny. Have you have you played that one? Uh, it's, uh, I I am into open world games. Okay. Yeah, so I... Um, there's a new one coming, because I like uh, RPG games and fantasy games, yes, so uh, there's this new one, uh, Elder Scrolls. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm playing these days, I'm playing uh, Assassin's Creed Origin. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, okay. But it's it really consumes the uh, the video card, right? I mean, it's just... I have a PlayStation 4, and then I have uh, uh, Xbox, and so and I'm Nintendo Switch also. So I, like, I finished uh, Horizon Dawn Zero, and then I, you know, I have not even I have not killed Ganon yet. I am keeping it alive just for the sake of fun, <laughs> and also because the the buttons on PlayStation versus Nintendo Switch are different, so you lose yeah. all the expertise that you build goes away. Uh, so did you play? Um, oh, it's not. It's it's sort of open world, uh, and it's also kind of similar to Assassin's Creed. It's called uh, Mordor, Shadows of Mordor. Uh, so I, have, then, I have not played yet, yeah. Oh, it's really good. It's okay. amazing. Uh, you kill people in much... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's more funny, uh, and it's, it's a pretty good game. And actually, I, so I have the Assassin's Creed now, but uh -huh. it consumes such GPU that I can't play it on the laptop. Oh, no, so I don't. So I bought an external GPU for that. <laughs> Seriously, I have in my office an external GPU. And Just to play that. So when do you do the work? Because you're mostly playing the games, right? <laughs> oh, no, no. Does your team know that you are actually not? Forget about the team. What about my wife? Like, you <laughs> yeah. know, she thinks no. I'm working very hard. Yeah, so. Same with my wife. No, I hope she won't watch this interview, but she... <laughs> <laughs> for a very long time, and I'm sure that even she doesn't know that I have Xbox and PlayStation and Switch. <laughs> so really, she doesn't. Know, she didn't know for a long time because so I work from home, and my office is also my workplace. Ah, so, so she yeah. and I have all those <laughs> PlayStation VR and all those things. So she has no idea because I have so many gadgets. She has no idea I have games. Uh, but uh, I, I just, I just hired a really good team. So uh, we have a really so good market. All, all of you right? just. Uh, that's why RPG and you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, and then I have some time, and then like the entire team, whenever I try to do something, oh Ben, maybe you should just do something else. Don't don't interrupt. Don't like you. Yeah. Let, let me yeah. just go and so, play your game, okay? Yeah, don't exactly. disturb us. Don't, don't, don't talk to yeah. don't talk to customers. Maybe, don't maybe, install the product. You're doing fine. Yeah, maybe uh, we, 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 we're fine. Just go and play the games. Yeah, yeah, so, so they're like, just keep him busy, okay? Don't distract exactly. him. Yeah. So, so it's sort of a win-win. Right. And uh, uh, outside games, do you do any any other other thing? You have to kids. How how old are they? Uh, so we, ha I have a ten month. Okay. I have, uh, I have a three year old, oh, wow. and I have a minus uh, uh, seven month. Oh wow! Because I have a six and I have a two, and so this uh, now actually, I don't want to say on a camera, but the the, the six year old he's playing Assassin's Creed with me. Oh wow! Yeah, and he <laughs> he's on level thirteen, and he's so happy that uh, and he mastered the, the the game. Yeah. So so do you do you uh, being a technologist? Uh, what is your, I, I mean, your, your kid is small, you know, but what is your uh, idea about giving them access to technology or do you want to you know, detach them for technology? Because, you know, these days everybody's on iPad and all. Yeah, what I think your, um, uh, I'm all, I'm, humans have, all, have always evolved through technology, whether it was like modern technology or, or older technology. We can't quite fight it. And there are trends that are stronger than us in my, in my belief. So mm -hmm. I'm... Uh, I'm letting them use anything that around technology, and there's always, you know, you always have to, uh, 
create balance, some, balance. Yeah, balance, yeah. and you have to have some, uh, you know, face time with your your kids. Right. But uh, I think you know, not letting your kids use iPads and everything is kind of. Uh, I understand that it's from good intention. I, they're probably it's a good end result, but it's very hard to do because we live in a world where they want it, and every time you. Um, I actually grew up religious and every time someone tells you not do something and then you end up really wanting it, right? So uh, I, I'm trying not to fight it because right. I think it's a, it's I a agree. futile fight. I agree. Sometimes the only difference happens is that a lot of parents, they think that their kids are being productive and constructive, but they're just consuming content. So it's, it's not about the kids as much as the parents, they are swiping uh, an app on iPad and oh, my kid is a developer. If you want, yeah, it's teach them a scratch <laughs> or something like that. So yeah, yeah because you know sometimes because these devices are meant for consumption, not like when we grew up with computers, we were like creating stuff. You know, it wasn't. That's true. So and but you're right also that if we take these technologies away from them, they will become coal miners. They yeah. won't have access to and they won't be even prepared for the world we are moving into. Yeah, Black or Mirror. they'll start going to or they'll start going to visit their friends a exactly. lot and then play iPad. They will be, exactly. That's why I gave my son access to all these technologies so he doesn't have to go outside to find them. I think you have to give them a, a strong fundamental. fundamental. Uh, education that teach them between uh, right and wrong right. and then hopefully they'll do make their own decisions yeah, probably, yeah. in the right way yeah. exactly and it was awesome oh, meeting you ben you. we thank talked you. about so many fun things and i love talking to you i hope you did too thank you so, thank you and of course we'll catch up again in the next conference and we'll continue this this conversation thank absolutely you. Thank, thank you so much thank you.